Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. Today we have the 2013 WWE DVD and Blu-ray collection. These will be the non-pay-per-view releases throughout the year of 2013. So we do have some pretty good ones in this year. And... No studio releases in this year either. So let's get right into this. We got 16 uh, releases to get through. Let's get into this with the best of Raw and SmackDown 2012. So here we go with the best of Raw and SmackDown 2012. Not a bad DVD set. Of course, we got, you know, Ryback was big during this year. Team Hell No. CM Punk and John Cena had an excellent match on Raw. Uh, pretty good feud on Raw. And then we had the stuff from Raw 1000. I've always been a fan of that one. CM Punk was the WWE Champion for the entire year of 2012. We had Daniel Bryan, John Cena, DX at the Raw 1000. Not bad. Decent release. Yeah, they they highlight uh, Lesnar's return, The Rock and John Cena, Big Show's Rampage, Daniel Bryan and telling off AJ Lee, the anger management sessions. Next up, one of my favorites. The Best of Nitro Volume 2. This is considered as one of the the best uh, Nitro sets. Very cool DVD set. You got the uh, first three embossed there. Sting, Hogan, and uh, Goldberg. Really cool. This is a big thing uh, I like to see on DVD sets is the time stamps. Date stamps, whatever you want to call them. The dates and locations, I always think that's important and, uh, you know, they don't do it on uh, enough DVDs. So we got Booker T there, Bret Hart and Piper, Sting and Vampiro. Very cool. And we had Hogan and Savage. Nash and Goldberg. The best of Nitro sets. I, I, I'm I not sure. I believe that one is on Blu-ray. That's one Blu-ray I don't have. But this is a year I have a, quite a few Blu-rays. So let's get into the first one here with the Bret Hart Dungeon Collection. And this is one I may still look for, the, the Digipack. So this is a fantastic set. You know, the hot pink discs. There's just tons of, uh, it's like an unreleased set of Bret Hart matches. We see, you know, matches in Italy, the Tokyo Dome, Madison Square Garden in Africa. Um, Blu-ray exclusive, over 90 minutes, different stories and whatnot. And yeah, this is, a, this is one I would definitely recommend. Next up here, another... One I don't have the DVD of. There's a lot of these I only have the Blu-ray for here. For All Mankind, The Life and Career of Mick Foley. And I apologize right now if I, uh, I lost my glasses, so it's a little bit hard for me to see right now. Um, this is an excellent documentary and another one I'd highly recommend. You know, the the life and career of Mankind or Mick Foley, whatever you want to call him, is uh, really cool. And he's a great storyteller as well. So pick this one up. It's loaded with extras and exclusive content. So all these stories and whatnot is uh, all extra content. And there you see a awesome f photo there with a... Man, Mick Foley during Christmas time and all his characters. Here we have the best of In Your House. 
Uh, this is just pay-per-view classics from 95 through 99. Um, I'm sure by now everyone's familiar with the in-your-house pay-per-views, which occurred during the, the mid-90s. Basically, we had the big four or big five pay-per-views, and in between those we would have in-your-house pay-per-views, which eventually just turned to you know regular pay-per-views. Like, we had in-your-house... Judgment Day and Backlash. Some of them stuck around. A lot of them did not. Like the Canadian Stampede. We had the, uh, a DX pay-per-view. A Rock Bottom pay-per-view. But we did have pay-per-views like... Uh, Bad Blood. Which we've seen return. Judgment Day. Backlash. Unforgiven. Those were all uh, in-your-house pay-per-views at once. This isn't, I'd say, the best representation of the... In your house era. Um, I'm not really a fan of this DVD set. Um, I, I think it only includes about 20 matches or so. I, I really felt like, a, oh, okay, 15. But we do have a, a few uh, exclusive matches. I definitely felt like this one could have been a bit better. And probably could have been released as an anthology set. Because at the time, I believe they were... They might have been two and a half, three hours. They were, they were like the budget pay per view, so they were they weren't always three hours. The greatest rivalries or top twenty five rivalries. Also another uh, Blu Ray I have. Again, this isn't uh, one of the all time greatest sets, but this is a pretty cool set. I'd I'd say. And they kind of break it down through uh, every five. And then we got Austin and McMahon. Really cool matches on here. Brody versus Abdullah. We got Kevin and Kerry versus Gordy and Roberts. Undertaker versus Mankind. Got the first main event of SummerSlam. Starcade 85. It's just a lot of cool stuff on here. And... And three Blu-ray exclusives. Next up, we got the War Games DVD, WCW's Most Notorious Matches. This is a kind of a guilty pleasure DVD of mine. While it might not be the best overall, um, I love the packaging and artwork. And the match itself isn't like the greatest, but it, it's really fun to go back and watch these. And it does include all of them for the most part from uh, the early 80s and, you know, the first Great American Bashes and whatnot all the way through. And then, because at first the Great American Bash went on tour with this uh, War Games it, and they probably had one every night or, you know, one every week during that uh, tour. So... A lot of those weren't caught on film, but the ones that were on pay-per-view, of course, were recorded. So, really, really cool stuff here. And then we got a couple of uh, other cage matches from ECW and uh, Smoky Mountain. Then we had ECW's Unreleased Volume 2 big fan of these sets these are just awesome to check out and you know these are ones i definitely want to get on blu-ray you know i love these uh classic cl classic looks got tajiri there terry funk yeah definitely check these ecw dvds out you got rvd there mike awesome we got some more Blu-rays, the best of WWE at MSG. Again, similar to the In Your House DVD, I felt like this one was really lacking in the content. And I, I really thought this would have spotlighted Bruno a bit more. Sadly, it did not. I think there's like two matches of Bruno, maybe even one. And we got Superstar and Bruno, which is on uh, many DVDs, but... Some of Bruno's other matches. 
I always felt like WWE kind of ne neglects the uh, first 20 years or so of the history books. And that does include the Bruno era. The, for WWE, their product really starts in like 82, 83 when Mr. McMahon took over. It doesn't really include anything prior to that except for like history. Legends of Mid-South Wrestling, another favorite of mine. You know, uh, this is one I think really deserved the documentary treatment uh, if they would have released this collection first and then the documentary later. Um, it's really cool classic footage. You know, guys like the Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, One Man Gang, you got Ted DiBiase, JYD, Jake the Snake, all got their start down in Mid-South. And even guys like JR started there in like 1974, something like that. And then we also had guys like Andre, Dusty Rhodes coming through. Rock and Roll, Midnight Express, HBK, Shawn Michaels. It's a fixture down in Mid-South and really cool. Next up is my all-time favorite or one of Triple H, Thy Kingdom Come. Definitely, um, they did put a lot of effort into this one. And, you know, you could tell right off the bat when you get a slipcover with the WWE DVD, it's a big business. And... Uh, if you don't know by now, I'm a Triple H fan. He's probably my all-time favorite. So seeing uh, him get the three-disc treatment was uh, really cool to see. So we got Triple H as a youth. Attitude Era. COO. And this uh, does have some of his classic matches. The Rock. Kurt Angle. Versus Austin and Taker and Kane. Shawn Michaels match with Flair, King Booker, Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy, Chris Jericho. Triple H has shared the ring with some of the greatest of all time. And this is one I don't have the Blu-ray for. Next up, another Blu-ray. Goldberg, the Ultimate Collection. I got mixed kind of feelings about this DVD. Uh, while I do enjoy it, for the most part, it's not really the greatest collection of matches. You know, Goldberg wasn't known for his what we call five-star matches. And some of those early streak matches really didn't last too long. The thing I do like about this set is, with the Blu-ray anyway, we have one, one disc kind of dedicated for the WCW and one for the WWE. You know, it's cool Goldberg returned in uh, 2016. And then... Uh, I I think... I, I would have thought they would have released another Goldberg DVD in that time, but they didn't, so... But nonetheless, Goldberg was a powerhouse in, the, in 98 and 99, and he was always someone I, I enjoyed watching for that time. And we had the Money in the Bank Anthology. Again, uh, you know, these are all mainly pay-per-view matches and filled with a lot of re-releases. While this wasn't really necessary, it is a cool uh, kind of little thing they did here with the briefcase slipcover. And having all the Money in the Bank ladder matches on one set is pretty cool. And with the Blu-ray as part of the exclusives... You get all the cash-ins up to 2012 anyway. So this is a early release. I would like to see them do a part two eventually, you know. That's a one thing I said. So. And they're all pretty good matches too, you know. Money in the Bank has been a pretty exciting match since its inception. Excuse me. WWE 50, again, another DVD I kind of got mixed reviews for. You know, you might not agree with everything they say on DVDs like this, but it's a pretty good documentary, well put together and things like that. Um, yeah, you just got a lot of photos of all the, the 
legends of WWE. You know, fantastic artwork. Um, so yeah, 2013 was WWE's uh, 50 year anniversary. Pretty cool match listing as well. You got Hogan and Rock, Hogan Andre. You know, some of the key moments in the 50 year history. That's another one they could have done, you know, a four or five disc set for. And then this was released, Raw 20th, a 12 disc set with 20 of the greatest Raw episodes. Uncut and unedited. Well, that is complete BS. And, you know, this may be one of the greatest releases they've ever done, you know, non-pay-per-view wise. You know, just really cool. They did put a little documentary on this, but I mean, my God, 12 discs. It's just incredible to go back and watch some of these. So while they may not have been the greatest episodes on some of them, but probably the most historic episodes. And then finally, the best pay-per-view matches of 2013. They initially were releasing these towards the end of the year, and then uh, it got bumped to the beginning of the year. Well, I'm not exactly sure of why. It's really who knows. And they always kind of left out uh, Survivor Series and TLC, so they really pushed it at the end of the year and always left the matches out anyway, so never really mattered. So there we have it, guys. The 2013 non-pay-per-view DVD and Blu-ray collection. Hope you enjoyed. We'll talk to you later. Peace.